Hi, my name is Hamayun Ali, and today I'm going to present uh, my presentation topic for the subject project 6005, Sustainability in Project Portfolio and Project Program Management. Uh, this is our assessment free presentation topic. So I'm going to start my topic introduction. As like PPM is uh, practiced in many organizations with multiple project as a way to integrate our portfolio of projects or projects to achieve organizational goals. Uh, project management uh, focuses on the execution of project while portfolio management is about uh, aligning the projects and each portfolio or with an organizational uh, goals. The project management focuses on the execution of project while portfolio management is uh, about aligning the project and each portfolio with an organizational strategy. Uh, selection is based on the company's uh, uh, available resources like human, financial, uh, physical assets, and which resources should be allocated for selecting, financing, and implementing uh, portfolio elements. So uh, this research will analyze the function management capabilities and uh, the existing system of OS by con and uh, propose of a framework for PPM implementation well, Osbycon is an Australian company based in Canberra that specializes in biotechnology on by three Australians PhD for holders in molecular biology in 2010 using seed capital fund. It is a vision that represents an, the leading Australian biotechnology in the global life sciences uh, economy and changing lives for better. The, Company offer its customers a wide range of products and services ranging from physical testing equipment to software programs. They sell uh, all by tracker and all by chips to support its products, as well as software application development and customer support developed by its division. Uh, as by regions, uh, those products are doing well for the company. Uh, uh, and the plan to make goose product is put to review. The company offer its customer a wide range of products and services uh, ranging from physical equipment, testing equipment to software programs. So in the next part, we will talk about the situational context and evaluation. In the first point, like the perception of PPM in relation to company size and project needs. So. In this section of the report, we'll evaluate uh, the organization current parameters taking into account uh, the size of the organization and project requirements, current management systems, and the sustainability uh, criteria in its operations. In evaluating those parameters, we'll set the scale of the intervention and help the company sustain the uh, PPM development plan. Uh, as mentioned, uh, in the introduction, Osbycon has a predefined mission, vision, and goals that can be used to uh, explore future strategies. The company currently has $27 million projects, which the team are new projects, and uh, 14 are between existing projects, uh, IT projects, new products, uh, training programs, sustainable developments, and logistic improvements. The previously mentioned elements demonstrate the maturity of the company based on their clear vision of work strategy and the large scale of their. These are the strategic goals, or like I would like to explain about that. The expanding revenue through new product development, increase customer satisfaction, improving current business progress, um, improving the skills of project and uh, product managers. In the second point, like uh, current management system and improvement opportunities, the organized, uh, an organized 
business management system is a, a fundamental element of any company looking for excellence in performance. Companies benefit when they see their situation as a set of interconnected processes uh, that require, uh, that is consistent with their purpose, innovation, uh, companies benefits greatly with their leaders and managers, uh, uh, create a process driven corporate culture that fits the company's vision. The management system includes different standards according to the organization needs and the value those uh, standards presents. Uh, 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 Osbicon have uh, a clear vision of leading extreme biotechnology research to present and advocate to global life sciences, economy, and change life of our good. The management system in the company should serve as a means to achieve their vision. Uh, as in advocating research in life sciences through the standardization and integration of the processes that leads to achieve or uh, achieving a competitive edge in their R&D. Uh, the third one is sustainability criteria and making process and decision operations. The process of making a decision when faced with different choices to achieve one specific goal is called decision making in management. And it's mainly it's the responsibility of the managers that who are responsible to make those decisions. Most of the decisions making uh, uh, is uh, influenced by different and constantly changing internal and external environmental factors. The decisions therefore are made in different circumstances from which some are clear, unclear, or risky. So therefore the Strategic management should be implemented to acquire more data about the company needs and goals and objectives of taking better decisions. The sustainability criteria in decision making uh, should <coughs> excuse me. The sustainability uh, criteria in decision making uh, should adapt to the uh, changing environmental factors and the values of the companies, uh, such as environmental performance, social equity, social performance, uh, and economic uh, efficiency, you know. And after analyzing the ongoing and proposed projects of Osbycon, it is clear that the decision to go with those projects are based on a value proposition, which gives the company a competitive advantage economically sustains a stop employment policy and how environmental uh, considerations economically Osbycon is working on the projects related to the products development products degradation and certification of quality and uh, other projects which will boost the company profile and competitiveness uh, and social and ethical approach have been a focus in the company project as PMP training, sales training and fitness mentoring, which will motivate the staff, allow them to grow uh, personally and raise their productivity. So we will move to the next slide, the opportunities and threats. Uh, every portfolio or approach should be complemented with a risk management approach uh, to make sure that the strategic goals of the organizations are aligned with the portfolio management processes and to lower the uncertainty in the plans. Uh, identifying threats uh, and the opportunities will be related to the internal and external factors in the organizational structure, projects needs, strategic goals, management system, management commitment, project management maturity, and readiness for change. So talking about the opportunities uh, uh, Osbycon is a mature organization with a defined organizational structure, uh, a good management system, and uh, motivated uh, executives, which will facilitate the implementation of PPM from a managerial perspective. So the next slide is about the PPM development plan. Uh, for a successful implementation of PPM in an organization, a clear and detailed developmental plan should be put in place. Uh, this is achieved by introducing PPM to the organization and how would it fit to the 
uh, its needs and achieve its goals. Uh, choosing the suitable PPM model uh, and producing an implementation plan. So a key elements in order to introduce a change to an organization, a plan of introducing this change and monitoring, it would ensure good change control. This is achieved by the Edgar model, the Cotter model, or the Kubler-Ross change uh, curve. The PPM processes consist of five steps, which ensures a high level of alignment throughout the portfolio and PPM life cycle. Uh, determining the business objectives, outline business objectives through strategic maps and communicate uh, with teams for priority. Yeah, the second point is research, gather the research information about the possible projects, stakeholders, team members, clients, managers by commenting data from similar projects and then ideas and data. Then third point summarize your list and select the project usable. Information is gathered to select projects that best work with your business objectives. Uh, that data is used to define project variations and create a temporary portfolio. And the fourth point is uh, verification of portfolio and available resources by verifying resources and feasibility study of progress projects with selected ones on the manage and monitor the portfolio. Once the project begins, portfolio should be managed, performance monitored, and reviewed as needed. The entire team should be aware of the portfolio management techniques and how it will and strategic goals in a coming for a better understanding of the benefits and strategies. The portfolio plan is an all strategy that guides day-to-day -day decision to invest in the long term. Uh, portfolio planning considers invested goals and risk tolerance, among other factors. Uh, the portfolio management maturity model should be implemented in the beginning to evaluate the company's current situation and plan uh, the needed intervention. The five levels of the maturity in an organization according to P3 and P3R, the awareness of processes, but it is inconsistent and uh, well gone. Go on a repeatable process, some centralization, but still not controlled. Defined processes, well defined standards, software implementation, uh, managed processes, proactive and continuous improvements. And the last one, like the optimized processes and the proactivity without any resistance while the data are collected for performance reviews. Uh, and those by cons are aware of their portfolio management benefits and started to apply it, but it no, is not well grown, but it's on level three of P3 and P3, and needs to be escalated to reach managed processes in uh, optimization. The model therefore should be uh, implemented in regarding to the maturity level of the organization. Now we're heading to the implementation plan. In the, the slides, uh, as with many major changes, in, uh, in an organization, the introduction of the PPM practices and processes requires a blueprint for the success. Otherwise, implementation will be disorganized and might face some resistance. Uh, the implementation plan consists of eight steps. Number one, set up a PPM strategy. PPM needs to be streamlined business strategy, speaking to executives to define their vision of value and expectations. When executive support and engagement from the top management, number three points is about the building enforcement team with strategic alignment and senior support. The implementation team should include technical team members, portfolio managers, and a steering committee. Uh, number four point is data collection. So evaluating the current plans and projects, the pipeline against the company strategy is an important step towards project portfolio management. Collecting this data will allow the team to answer essential questions such as number of previous current and upcoming projects, uh, project prices, ROI estimated tables, available resources. And uh, the number point five is project evaluation. After collecting all the data, 
A project evaluation takes place by using the ranking or scoring models to assess which projects meet strategic goals. And point six, like portfolio creation. By changing the status and priority of the project based on uh, evaluation, like uh, defining uh, and documenting key, uh, key reporting, key, key processes such as uh, project request management and PPM reporting uh, structures, depending on existing tools, company menu to upgrade or purchase project portfolio management software to support new approach. Number seven is testing and refinement. So testing portfolio with partners and using feedback restructuring, as well as testing new processes and software systems. And the last one, like RPM rollout, is achieved through starting to implement PPM while starting with one division after the other to make sure it is well implemented. Well, uh, the next slide is PPM. It's all about the PPM tools and techniques. Um, there can only be one corporate project portfolio, uh, but in general, it makes a lot of sense to define more than one portfolio on a strategic basis in large companies to reflect up the product line, geography, or technology segments of the industry or market. The common guidance identified three types of project portfolios. The first one is the value creation, strategic or organizational plans, the functional project that makes the organizational more efficient and complete some basic operational work. And number third point is the compliance, the do's and don'ts required to maintain regulatory compliance. As OSB icon is current projects are related to three types of the project portfolios um, as they have really creating operationals and compliance based projects or uh, those projects can be divided into products and technology portfolio finance and human resources uh, and the environmental portfolio the traditional tools and techniques for managing portfolios are based on preparing portfolio foundation evaluating projects individually and optimizing the portfolio. So we have set up tools for portfolio strategic planning like SWOT analysis, uh, balance scoreboard and Sparta charts. Tool and techniques for the action plans include benchmarking, gap analysis and the road mapping. Well, in the conclusion part, so I would like to briefly discuss about the conclusion. As Oswicon is working towards a vision of creating biotechnologies to achieve better life standards, this vision can only be achieved by aligning the vision to their uh, strategic objectives and portfolio management modules. Even though the maturity of the company will allow it to accept the PPM practices, a change management plan should be put in place to assure the successful implementation of the PPM plan. Well, this is the uh, this was the last part and uh, well i just finished thank you thanks